Hey everybody, it's Lloyd with Perfect Crust Pizza Liners and Incredible Bags. Today I have up and coming pizza star Nathan Wilson. Hello. <laughs> you 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 may know Nathan and you may not, but uh, he's uh, getting some crazy numbers on TikTok, which is something that a lot of people either don't know anything about or know a little bit about. So we're going to talk <laughs> about that as well as his pizza journey. So thanks for joining us, Nathan. Oh, thank you for having me, Lloyd. Um, Excellent. So yes, so, TikTok. Crazy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Before we get there, uh, let's talk a little bit about uh, where you are. As I understand it, you're at uh, 600 downtown in Ohio. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, I work, uh, work uh, manage, operate uh, 600 downtown in a little town, Bell Fountain, uh, Ohio. Um, it's uh, been a journey in itself uh, since working here. Uh, I've worked here for about seven years now, so it's nice. been it's been really cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So uh, in some ways, I think of you then as kind of similar to to other pizza spinning star Tara Hatton in that you're both managers mm -hmm. and kind of ongoing concepts. Um, you know, that's a, a position I imagine. I don't know what your day-to-day -day is, whether you're running all of it, front of house, back of house. Can you tell me kind of what a normal day, is there a normal day and what does it look like? Oh uh, man, a normal day for me is uh, usually it's kind of hectic, man. Uh, usually, we're usually pretty busy. Uh, here recently we've been uh, getting really busy. So we've been thinking, we're about to uh, kind of expand our brand a little bit. So um, I would definitely say just been super busy here recently to really do anything. I, uh, when it comes to like practicing pizza, I usually try to use uh, the videos I record for TikTok as like practice time in a sense, uh -huh. or uh, just uh, usually we have Mondays off. So I take that free time sometimes too. So that's right. usually how it work for me. But usually it's, uh, we're just here we're just uh, we're trying to make things uh, build and grow and all that fun stuff. Excellent. And 600 Downtown, that's run by uh, world pizza champion, Brittany Saxton, right? Yes, yes, Brit, five-time uh, pizza champion, yes. Excellent, excellent. Uh, okay, so um, let's see. Why you're here today is, uh, you know, when I interview people, uh, one of the questions I typically ask is, hey, who else should I interview? And your name came up several times as somebody who's kind of an up and coming person. And also, you know, perhaps somebody that doesn't have a lot of uh, interviews or things like that. And mm -hmm. then I've been seeing kind of the numbers on the TikTok thing. So that's certainly part of, you know, what we want to talk about. Right. In, you know, in terms of kind of like, so now you're a manager at 600, how did you get there? Like, how did you start? How, you know, how'd you work your way? <laughs> um, honest, honestly, um, about when I, how I got the job, I've, uh, I just needed a job. I did yep. it plain and simple. Um, yep. I worked at a tiny pizza shop, like a, for like a week before I started here. Uh -huh. Um, so, and then like, I kind of just didn't do anything for a period of time. I was kind of like confused, lost, you mm -hmm. know, and then I just knew I wanted to work with food. A buddy of mine got me a job here. Um, and it kind of, I got to work under Michael Shepard because he was the previous owner of 600. And I got to work under him for about two years. And nice. uh, the more I kind of got to know about like his backstory and more about Brittany's backstories, I was like, man, this is really like relatable. And the more and more I just learned about pizza and all the cool stuff that's actually out there in the pizza world. Uh, it kind of yeah. was like a found passion, fall in love type thing. And yeah. uh, I now it's just like, I try to like live and breathe it as much as I possibly can these days. Um, that's pretty much it. I remember seeing Michael Toss one time and I was like, man, I want to do that. And uh, I started just practicing like a lot. And then I would watch videos from people from like around Korea, uh, Japan. I'm just like, I need them to know how to do that too. And it was just like just a step-by-step -step thing, like do it again, do it again till you get it type thing. So it's a nice. whole fall in love type deal. And it's been a great journey so far. That's, that's absolutely awesome. I mean, I, I don't know that you get much time to practice. It sounds like you're a real busy guy. So it's, it's funny, but. Well, uh, before, before I became management, I had a little bit more free time 
And so I, but I lay under Michael's bell. I wasn't really, I was just a normal worker at uh-huh. that point. So I had more free time to kind of invest into trying to get better at this, kind of prove myself that like, I'm willing to invest my time and do this for, I, I don't know what yet, but I know like I'm into doing this and like, I'm like, I want to show it, I'm going to prove it. Uh-huh. And then Michael, um, Brittany, switch ownership, Brittany owns it. And then Brittany has been a very great mentor throughout this because she's been in the pizza business for a very long time as well. Uh And just, she's been very helpful in like with guiding to like, just like small things that, cause like, this is, I don't know. It's a, it's a cool thing to do. And it's, uh, it's really sometimes like not ready for a lot of, a lot of, a lot of it. And she's been very helpful with, helping me get into all the pizza community industry type thing. And it's been really awesome because everyone in the industry that I've met so far is very embraceful and it's a, it's, it's amazing. It's truly, that's it's good. Really that's, awesome. that's super awesome. Um, so we're going to switch to the topic of TikTok because that's a lot of my curiosity. Um, <laughs> I've seen some of your posts on Instagram that told me about your numbers and when I tell people, oh, he's really big on TikTok. I mean, I don't know what big on TikTok is, but to me, the, the numbers in pizza, at least, yeah, are yeah. popping. Mm-hmm. You know, I think you're, if I, I think I looked last night and you had like 49,000 plus We're almost followers. pushing 50K, right? Uh, that yeah, on, on followers. And in mm-hmm. views, you've had 1.7 million views. Uh, that, yeah. that, that that number, I mean, I don't know if it was me, I just would couldn't <laughs> understand that. So, uh, I mean, when you started, did you see this happening at all or no? I mean, mm. How did you, how did you say, okay, I'm going to do TikTok? Uh, I, um, a, a, well, a buddy, my Michael Casanova, he actually, he sent me, he like, he's like, yeah, you should try to do this. I was like, okay, like it's maybe like four years ago. And I was like, okay, yeah, I'll try it. And then I thought it was kind of stupid at first. I was like, this is dumb. And I was like, uh, I got one video to blow up to like 80K views. And I was like, oh, cool. Okay, so maybe if I just do this again, uh-huh. it'll happen again. Uh-huh. No, not, that did not happen. So I was like, I kept trying that, trying that. I was like, okay, well, this is dumb. I can't get this to happen again. Uh-huh. And I gave up for a while, actually. I um, okay. uh, probably paused on it for like a year and a half, two years, came back to it and started to really learn like what you should be doing to like attract, like to attract followers. And you kind of, it's, 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 you kind of gotta like pick ideas from other creators and kind of push it as your own as well is what okay. I found out. So uh-huh. Luckily, I can use pizza as a content and kind of do those little twists and turns and stuff. So it's been interesting. It's a definitely, I have definitely a good platform if people are wanting to be creative for sure. Yeah. So a couple things. Um, do you, when you record a specific TikTok, do you kind of have a feeling like, yeah, this is going to get a lot of engagement, or do you? Are you just you don't know and you just kind of put stuff up? <laughs> I um. Ah, man, I'm still trying to figure that out, honestly. Because yeah. sometimes, um, every time that I've, put, I've managed to accumulate, I think, a total of maybe 7 mil views out of all the videos I have on my TikTok. Mm-hmm. Um, then I just know the most recent one is pushing 4 mil. So usually when I post a video, I always have a good feeling it's going to do well because I think, hey, this is cool. And then, yeah. like, there's there you will have majority flops for sure. That's like, my, that's like my Instagram yeah. posts. I always think they're great. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, yeah. Sometimes I'm like, man, like, I don't think I could do this one any better. And then I'll oh. post it, and it'll get like 300 views or something. And I'm just like, oh, well, okay. And then I feel I think actually every time I've posted a video that I didn't think was going to do well has probably blown up like it would be the opposite way like this one like i have whatever i'll just post this one for the day because they said they recommend you to like keep up with content like at least like a video or two a day so obviously all right well i'm busy today so i'll just post this one snippet and just like that's it for the day 
And next thing I know, I look at my phone, I have a hundred million followers and <laughs> I'm just like, this is ridiculous. Like, I, what's, like, why do people like this video, but they don't like this video? So okay. I guess it's all algorithm too, is another okay. thing that I've been yeah. trying to figure out as well. Um, so so I don't know. when you, yeah, and when you post something, um, it's a snippet. It's how your average video is not very long, right? I mean, it's mm -mm. How, many, how many, 20 seconds, something like that? Uh, maybe like 10, 7, 8, even less than, okay. like less than that. Yeah. Okay. So it's and so, crazy. but like, how many takes are you typically taking before you post? That, that is, um, that it really depends. I've had a video go over 2 million views off a of first take. Um, oh, really? I've had, wow. yeah, I've, uh, I have had one done that I've done that once before. And the other, other ones I would say like would take like three or four takes. And okay. But like, not, not, not a hundred takes. I mean, no, oh, no, no. Okay. Unless I'm like, I'm trying to do some type of maybe handstand trick that yeah. might take a little bit like, <laughs> Oh man, like that one wasn't clean enough. I have to do that again. Or it wasn't on, it wasn't synced to the sound or, the music that like they provide for you because i come to find out the more I, like because they provide with viral sounds and every time i use a viral sound it doesn't work like it just doesn't work so you just gotta hmm. find these weird little sounds that people are using and it, it just has benefits has benefited my tiktoks more than using the like popular sounds that they recommend yeah. you to use so that might so be you, something. you have to do that kind of hard rock mining of looking for the yeah. nuggets that work for you. Mm -hmm. You posted a duet with uh, Justin Wadstein. Uh, mm -hmm. Recently, but, uh, I put it up on our Instagram. And uh, those are really cool. So for those that don't know, if you can kind of explain duet, that'd be awesome. Oh, yeah. Duets are <laughs> duets can be really funny. Because um, if you do manage to get a video blow up to like, wow, I did, you get a bunch of people duetting them. And it loved, like just to be like, hey, sir, I'm waiting on my pizza. You're taking forever. And like this make funny comments like that. Um, but duetting is kind of gives you a chance to like work with people on TikTok and like and collaborate is how I would explain it or see it or even just to be funny. But in the pizza sense, like since Justin and I can actually toss, we can actually do some collaborations yeah. and um since I have a good push on my profile, it'd be, I'd, I think it'd be awesome to like, if we could like do some more to kind of like get more traction and uh, just get people more viewing on the pizza tossing. Yeah, it, it's visually really interesting. The two of you mm -hmm. on the screen are side by side, kind of in sync uh, to the music. And I just, I just watched it over and over again. I thought <laughs> it was a ball. So um, I'll probably try and do it with you sometime, but because I don't know what I'm doing tossing, it'll either be, mm -hmm the world's shortest snippet or will involve a trip to the hospital. So we'll see how it goes when I, okay. when I do it with you. Um, let's see. So uh, in terms of kind of with the TikTok, then do you have an idea of some sort of like where you go from here? Are you just having fun or is there something in particular you have as a goal or no? Uh, I, um, you can get paid doing TikTok creators funds. Uh, I unfortunately did not obey one of their terms and guidelines and I got banned from it, uh, which is no biggie. I didn't really get into it for uh, making money off them. You know, mm -hmm. if that makes any yeah. sense, I didn't really care to make money off TikTok itself, right. but I do have a plan of like accumulating enough followers, hopefully to maybe help push some type of maybe like merchandise for 600, things like that, or even just attract more business to 600 because people might be like, hey, I saw this on TikTok. Let's go there. Because uh, I know I've, uh, with just our sign that we have uh -huh. over here, I have a video that maybe has like 30K views on it. So out of how many people may take the time to actually come here or where those maybe those viewers are even at, you know, yeah. um, they might come here and be like, hey, I saw this on TikTok, so I had to come. Uh, so that's another yeah, idea. Yeah, I think that's kind of what's interesting about TikTok is it's you may put up, you know, a video on TikTok, but there's no telling where it goes. It gets shared on different platforms. And mm -hmm. so like there was uh, I posted a video which would turn out looking kind of bizarre, which uh, basically your TikTok got posted to Pinata Farms, which allows me to modify heads and stick them on bodies. So there was the video of 
uh, Tara Hatton. Uh, mm -hmm. the, the reason that I could put Tara Hatton's head on your body doing your video is because somebody asked that Pinata Farms put up your video so that we can do that. Oh, it's, okay. It's, it's like you started out on TikTok and it ends up yeah, on yeah. a totally different platform that I can do something with that. And then what I'm doing is I'm sharing that. I did the two videos, Tara's head and your head. Right, right, and right. I did those, but I'm doing them on Instagram. So now we're on another platform. And so <laughs> it kind of raises your uh, visibility in all kinds of ways. For sure. Um, I, I noticed with TikTok, I mean, a lot of your content is spinning, but it's not all spinning. It's also these funny vignettes about ordering pizza or whatever. And <laughs> characters that I have no idea if they're going to be recurring characters or, or characters. <laughs> it, seems yeah, like yeah. it seems like you're having a lot of fun with that are you yeah my my goof uh dress it up in like goofy little outfits and stuff uh yeah I kind of I do that intentionally because I know people just enjoy that it's a sight to see on top of um you know just talk but it's kind of who I am too as like a person like I I just just how I just like dress as a normal human being you know uh, so I, I actually just put that onto my TikTok, um, and I'm glad people dig it and they enjoy it. But I, because uh, I know the one with the coonskin hat, yeah, that is more yeah. of a character type thing. I feel uh, I do try to use that, like with the DJ Pizza shirt. I try to use that kind of as like a, almost like, like a character a little bit because uh, yeah, I don't yeah. dress like that normally. Yeah, but yeah. it's, it's <laughs> pulled some it pulled some people in and i'm glad I, i'm glad it worked out yeah, um yeah i i pointed uh, out you in the coonskin cap to my wife and i said hey see this guy i'm going to interview him on zoom <laughs> <laughs> and she was like okay this should go well uh so a couple uh, things uh, you're not only about spinning although that's a lot of the content i mean you have a world pizza championship under your belt for was it those stretching i don't remember yes largest stretch is um was my first uh first place in vegas for the world uh, pizza game and yeah and, and were you was did you think you would win or was it a surprise or how did that go i uh i mean the First year I went out, I definitely, uh, I felt like I went in as like a kind of young, arrogant kid. Uh, <laughs> and then my, then it was my second year out, I had a little bit more experience. So I had a little bit like, okay, like I'm taking, taking this seriously. Yeah. Um, and I, I, I had, I felt confident that year. I felt very confident that year. Uh, uh, I didn't do as much shenanigans as I did the first year, I guess. And I got some, well, we got enough sleep, that's for sure. Um, but I, I think I went into it and I felt pretty confident and I felt like I was going to win until uh, the last 20 seconds when it, we had to place it down. My uh, my arm went through it and uh, that, my heart sunk and I didn't think I was going to be able to patch the hole in time. But luckily uh, I did. And now I actually have, I have one world champion and uh, probably one of the proudest moments uh, so far. My life. Congre uh, that's, I think that's awesome. I, I mean, just to compete is really, and put yourself out there mm -hmm. is really something. Oh, it's so, so fun. It really is yeah. fun. Yeah. Is that something that Brittany helped you with? Because I think she had a championship for stretching too, right? Yep. Uh, five for a fastest toss. Um, oh, fastest she, toss. Okay. Yeah, she had. I'm, she has other placements and uh, largest yeah. stretch, I believe, too. Um, but yeah, no, we, she introduced it to us. Uh -huh. like, maybe like towards the end of Michael's ownership and a little bit at the beginning of her ownership, yeah. we would actually take some of our Mondays because uh, the world pizza champion, the website uh, provides some practice to do to prepare and practice uh -huh. with for competitions. And uh, we would actually whip up some of the dough and we would take like almost every Monday or every other Monday and like practice. We would, oh, wow. we would practice fastest, largest, I particularly would not, I didn't fold boxes. I can't fold a box to save my life. I, I can do a lot of cool things with pizza dough, but man, I, it takes me forever to fold a box and uh, <laughs> it wasn't for me. Uh, but yeah, we would, that's what we would do. And then uh, I was the only one that took interest of the pizza acrobatics. Uh -huh. uh, and I would probably be an hour earlier before the other guys. 
and practice that before we started practicing the other things. Well, I, I like I like the idea of you know uh, posting this as seasoned veteran Nathan Wilson has a word for the kids going to Pizza Expo. Get lots of sleep, and then and mm -hmm. this is the, <laughs> this is you being the guy saying well, at least seven you know, hours at least. Right. <laughs> so, any plans to any plans to compete ahead coming up? Uh, I mean, as long as the. COVID thing? I don't know. I've been trying to keep up with all the health stuff that uh, they've been posting uh -huh. with and everything. And I mean, as long as it keeps going on, I will, I'll be in Vegas this year. And competing. awesome. That's great. Yeah. yeah competing for, sure. for acrobatics, acrobatics. And I'll be uh, going in for largest again, hopefully to repeat uh, nice. again. Yeah. I'm hoping to do that. I, it's also my second favorite. It's just relaxing to me. So it's just a soothing thing to do for five minutes. Wow. <laughs> it really is. Uh, any any type of competition does not sound relaxing to me. Right. So yeah. um, uh, we're going to wrap up in a few minutes, but I got a couple more questions. Um, as right. you kind of, I mean, you're a young guy and you've got, you know, just this, all this cool stuff ahead of you, but kind of where you stand today was wondering like, who's helped you, who's inspired you, um, stuff oh, like that. Yeah. Uh, what's, like, I, I, the inspirement, I started with Michael, Michael for sure. Okay. Uh, and then I also work with his son, so, like, it kind of, I can, like, whoa, how is this, like, how did this, like, whole world pizza team, how did mm -hmm. it happen? I'm able to, like, ask questions like that after Michael left, but, um, and, just knowing, learning more about just Michael, Tony, and just like just the whole crew. I even own the the, the picture book that they that they have, <laughs> like, and just like <laughs> learning more about like uh, their trip to Vegas and that they up to Italy and yeah. the Star routine and um, the Matrix routine and watching that and like whoa, <laughs> it was like a whole like eye opening thing. And then it's like awesome to learn more about other like there's a whole bunch of other people that were involved with that routine um and it's been just a really awesome just growing process and i really can't wait to just interact with more pizza heads excellent excellent well i think we're going to wrap it up there unless you've got something else so where can people find you your handle uh, instagram and uh, um i try to have the same handle for everything um my Instagram, I try to not have the underscore. I was hoping to catch the just yummy Wilson, yeah. uh, but a porn star beat me to it. So I had to go with the, had to go with the yummy underscore Wilson. And that's, that's so, my uh, handle. So if Instagram. I don't put it, if I don't put in the, the underscore, you have to put the I'm under, totally yeah, you have to different. Put the underscore, or you're probably going to find a porn star or like a stripper. I don't know. I was, that's, that, that's who beat me to that handle. And I was, I was like, okay, they deserve it. Um, but yeah, it's a yummy underscore Wilson. That's my Instagram. That's my TikTok. Um, my Snapchat's more like a personal thing, but it's just yummy Wilson. Uh, but I do try to put, I try to post a lot of different food on my Snapchat usually like not, oh. ju not just pizza, but just anywhere that like I'll eat or even cook. I'll post it on that. Uh, cause as much as I love pizza, I do just love food and in yeah, general. Yeah. Food is amazing. So that's no, I have to. I'll, I'll have to get on that because I mean, like you, I, I absolutely love pizza. But sometimes, just like you, never know when you get an inspiration or idea for something, right. and just exactly. just see it and go, "Oh yeah, that would be awesome." So or right, yeah, I'll do that, and I'll be like, "I want to put that on a pizza now." Or like yeah, yeah. And I, 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 that's happened before. I like I want to make put this Mexican dish onto a pizza and it, I've done it. So I'll just do it. And it's usually, yeah. that's how it'll go for me. <laughs> like, cause I feel but you can put it, anything it, on yeah. a pizza, it's edible. It, it, it could be that a year from this expo, we see you competing in culinary then for- Yeah, some... yeah, yeah. I, um, I'm trying to do the sport of pizza. Yeah. I'm um, young and yep. not, you know, brittle. And <laughs> when, like uh, get up when I'm older, I do more in the baking and uh, uh, culinary competitions for sure yeah, yeah. that's, uh, that's kind of my goal for the future uh at the moment while i'm 27 i'm trying to use my physical being to do well with the sport of pizza till you know i just ready to hang it up and start doing baking 
Well, and obviously, seems, yeah. learn a lot more. Yeah, no, it seems like the plan is working. Uh, you know, yours, the stuff that you're putting up is just endlessly entertaining to watch. I love seeing it. I, it, it excites me. It's really, really cool. Mm. And uh, yeah, I just uh, keep doing what you're doing, man. You're blowing it up. So that's awesome. Thank you. Yeah. So Nathan Wilson, want to thank you very much for being with us and everybody following uh, yummy underscore Wilson <laughs> and, uh, and, and not the other one. So thanks so much. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Have a good day. Thanks.